Hey followers, this is your boy, Movie Maker Doug 55. Here we are again with my coach and mentor, actor Andy McBee, and today we welcome our guest, Adam Georgelin, who has an amazing event coming up. Hey Adam, how you doing? Hi, I'm going well, thanks. Um, thanks for having me on today, I really appreciate it. Yeah, how you doing, Adam? I'm going well, yeah, very good. Yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, mate, in Australia at the moment, you're all in lockdown again, aren't you? We sure are, and... About 10 minutes ago, Victoria got announced a, a further seven days. So that's going to be exciting. Oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Wow. Yeah. yeah. I bet um, people are getting annoyed. Yeah, I think they are. I think um, people have just about had enough. But luckily for us in Victoria, most people are um, conforming, which is, which is yeah, fantastic. Yeah, you don't want it's anyone, good. you know, Getting all upset and going crazy. It's annoying all of us, but you got to do what you got to do, you know. Um, Absolutely. I, We've seen I have a vaccine the... here. Doug had his vaccine. Um, whether that's going to, I mean, I'm sure it's helping, but with all the controversy behind it, um, I just don't, I, I can't listen to it because I made a choice. So that's it. That was my choice. And, um, yeah. you know, uh, whatever will be, if it helps, Everything fine. People will disagree, and some go, "Oh, it's not working. It's dangerous." Well, okay, but oh well, that was my choice. You know? Absolutely, yeah. Um, it's my choice. Very similar that I eat meat, and I'm not a vegetarian. So my friends have got a lot of my vegetarians, but I, I don't hold it against them because they don't want to eat meat. And sometimes I don't eat meat. Sometimes I go for a month without eating meat. So everything's a choice in life, and we should all be free to make that choice. You know, whatever we want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think uh, here in LA we're not too bad at the moment. We have to wear masks inside again. It's only just started yesterday. Um, but the ridiculous part is the local uh, county sheriff, they're not enforcing it and neither is the, uh, you know, uh, the health department taking care of COVID then. It's just a local government thing. So people are like, uh, pff, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I mean, they're still doing yeah. it, but it's like, you know, that's why people are getting confused, you know. Yeah, we've got um, inside mask rules at the moment as well, but you still, you travel around and you see people that are not wearing them and no one's questioning anybody for the reason that you, you get medical exemptions. Within Australia, you're allowed medical exemptions. So if you say, for example, you have claustrophobia or if you've got some sort of a mental health issue, um, you're exempt from wearing a mask. So for those reasons... No one's questioned. If you're walking around without a mask on, mm. it's, as you were saying about the vegetarian, it's your choice and everybody else just has to suck it up. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it, I know people are getting frustrated with it, but, oh, well, we just, we all got to do what, we got to do our best to just try and help ourselves get healthier and hopefully this thing will, you know, weaken. But at the moment, it doesn't look like it, sadly. No, um, no, it doesn't. It's, uh, it's quite a... An intense virus, but anyway, let's talk about you and your anti-bullying. Um, what uh, is your event about? Oh, obviously, it's about anti-bullying, but what what is it about specifically? Why are you running it, and where are you running it? So basically, I'm a, I'm not running it. I'm aligned with uh, an Australian company called Bully Zero. They're a fantastic organisation. They um, deliver business and school-based uh, seminars, um, encouraging against and also assisting people who, who are victims of bullying. Um, it's a fantastic initiative that they run. Um, I was basically, I was born with spina bifida, which is a... It's a neurolog uh, yeah, neurological disability where um, I was born with a hole in the spine, um, which in effect um, my spinal cord was exposed when I was born um, and it was damaged. Because it was exposed, it was damaged. So I have a physical disability. I walk with a limp. Um, 
and I have big due to operations that I've had to go through. I've, I've got scars pretty much from head to toe. Um, so as a result of that, I've been a victim of bullying pretty much my entire life. Uh, so when, when the, the CEO of Bully Zero asked me if I'd be interested in being aligned with them, I definitely couldn't, couldn't turn it down. So the, the idea of this is that I'm going to be d doing a, a series of challenges over the next 10, 10 to 12 months um, in the hope of raising minimum $10,000. Uh, it's a huge, a huge amount, but um, I think it's a great cause and, and I encourage everybody to get behind me um, and do your part if you can if you can i understand as we've been discussing the world is in serious uh, economic issues at the moment but yeah for this cause i encourage people to get behind it if they can